The key to finding a diamond in the rough is imagination. And looking at the current state of City Foundry STL, it's hard to imagine much that sparkles. There were definitely people who sort of had this puzzled look in their eyes, like, do you really know what you're doing? Does this really make sense? Uh, but that sort of is uh, motivating for me. His motivation began with a look outside this currently dilapidated midtown structure and a question at the security gate, his son in tow. There was a for sale sign out. We kept, showed up on a Saturday and asked, could we go in the building and see the inside? And they said, no, you might die. That literally, the lady said, you might die, the, guard, the security guard. So we said, okay. So we drove around the back and snuck in the building. And after his little breaking and entering adventure, he began to see potential in this old building. Potential that by early 2020 should look something like this. We're going to convert it into a food hall with offices, with restaurants, with retail, with entertainment. A food hall, a lot of interesting things, and there's nothing like that in the St. Louis region. Uh, so it'll be a one of a kind. At least one of a kind here. Smith has seen this sort of makeover done before. And I've been blessed to be able to travel a lot and see a lot of other developments around the country. And there's some very unique developments in other cities that take old industrial buildings and convert them into uh, Instagrammable, really progressive, modern, dynamic spaces. And I've seen those in New York and Atlanta and uh, Denver and places like that. And we're gonna create that here in St. Louis. The bones, so to speak, those old buildings ready for new life have been in place in Midtown St. Louis for years. The foundry location is nearly a century old and once was bustling. This building was built in 1922 and they cast, they would melt ore and cast casings for electric motors. During World War II, we understand that they made aircraft carrier parts for the war effort. The auto industry took it over from there, but by the recession of 2007-2008, it was shut down and abandoned, waiting for something to happen. What happened was an economic boom surrounding the Cortex Innovation community. In 2010, there were 30 companies in the area. Today, there are 380, with a hotel on the way and more. I don't want to say that it's all a result of Cortex, but the fact that you know we're now at roughly 5,000 employees in the district, you put those 5,000 together with the 20 to 30,000 employees at the medical center and BJC, and another 12 to 15,000 at St. Louis University, there's a real density of employment here in, in this area. And that density is feeding places like the foundry in the surrounding area. In fact, Cortex says the foundry is part of $1 billion in investment that is a result of all the new business activity. Spin-off business pointed to a placemaking philosophy. You want to create an environment that is 24-7, and that gets people to come early and stay late. It's an idea they're following here. So at eight in the morning, we have uh, a company called Multiply, a company called Orion Genomics. So uh, we have other uh, office tenants. So first thing in the morning, we have a, a bunch of people working here. Midday, we've got the food hall and restaurants, Fassler Hall. So people will come here for lunch. Uh, throughout the afternoon, we have shopping. So people will come here to shop. In the evening, we've got Punchbowl Social and Alamo Draft House, which is a movie theater, so people can come and entertain themselves. And then again, then you have residential for overnight in our next phase. So it'll be a 24-7 environment. All of it part of a growth strategy for the area that goes far beyond this old building and its good bones. So in 10 years, you're going to have a lot more people living here. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's 10,000 more people living in, in Midtown in the next 10 years. You're going to see a lot more people working here. Uh, Cortex, uh, Microsoft just moved into Cortex. It's been published that Square is expanding rapidly into Cortex. If you have people working here and living here, then you're gonna have a lot more support. You'll have restaurants and cafes and bars, places to shop, places to entertain yourself, movie theaters like we're gonna have here. And so City Foundry is part of providing the support to the neighborhood of Midtown that is growing dramatically and rapidly right now.